Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to start a new brand series on Spring Boot. Alright, so this is Spring Boot tutorial for beginners series. And this series is meant for Spring Boot beginners. If you want to learn Spring Boot from the scratch, then this series is very very helpful. Well, we'll start with what is Spring Boot and then gradually we'll learn what are the Spring Boot key features and auto configuration and how Spring Boot works behind the scene. Alright, and we'll start building RESTful web services and then we'll start building RESTful crude web services with Hibernate, with real time database that is MySQL database. Alright, we'll learn a lot of stuff in this series. Okay, let's kickstart this series with what is Spring Boot. Before understanding about what is Spring Boot, let's quickly take a look into what is Spring Framework. Well, Spring is a very popular Java W framework for building web applications and enterprise applications. And Spring Framework made Java W much easier for developing enterprise applications. If you are a Java developer, then there is a high chance that you might heard about Spring Framework and probably have used it in your projects. Well, Spring is very popular for several reasons like Spring's dependent injection approach, you know, encourages writing testable code and it provides a powerful database transaction management capabilities and Spring simplifies integration with other Java frameworks like Hibernate or, you know, Struts and other web frameworks and Spring provides a WebMUC framework for building web applications as well as RESTful web services. Alright, so Spring is very popular for these reasons guys and Spring Boot is basically built on top of Spring Framework to basically reduce a lot of configuration required to set up the Spring based applications. Okay, so Spring Boot is basically an extension of Spring Framework which eliminated the boilerplate configuration required for setting Spring based applications. Okay, Spring Boot is not, you know, it's not a different framework guys. Spring Framework is just, a, you know, extension of Spring Framework and Spring Boot internally uses all the Spring Framework libraries. Alright, so apart from that, Spring Boot provides many key features. For example, Spring Boot provides Spring Boot starter dependencies and Spring Boot provides auto configuration, externalized configuration, Spring Boot actuator and easy to use embedded servlet container support. So these are the key features that Spring Boot offers, okay? And the main goal of Spring Boot is to quickly create a production-ready Spring-based applications without requiring developers to write the same configuration again and again. So in case of Spring Framework, we need to configure a lot of things, right? So consider we are developing Spring MUC application using Spring Framework without Spring Boot. Then we need to do a lot of configuration in Spring MUC project. Okay, so Spring Boot basically addresses the Spring, you know, application configuration problem. So Spring based applications have a lot of configurations guys. So that is the main problem of Spring based applications. Okay, so if Spring application is huge, then we need to provide a lot of configuration in Spring based applications. Okay, and that is the problem uh, the Spring Boot addresses. Okay, for example, when we use Spring MUC, we need to configure these details for example we need to conf configure component scan dispatcher servlet view resolver web jars among other things and when we use hibernate or jpa in a, in our spring based application then we need to configure a data source integer manager factory or a session factory transaction manager among other things and let's say if we use cache in our spring based application then we need to provide a cache configuration let's say if we use message queue then we need to provide a message queue configuration Let's say if we use NoSQL database, then we need to provide a NoSQL database configuration and etc. etc. Alright, so we need to provide all these configuration in a Spring based applications. Okay, so this is the main you know pain uh, for developers while developing Spring based applications. Right, we need to configure a lot of things. So developers should have to focus on only the business logic, not on these external configurations. So this is the main problem of Spring uh, based application developed using Spring Framework. Okay, and Spring Boot addresses these problems. 
so what spring boot does is spring boot will automatically configure spring music you know configurations like component scan dispatcher servlet view resolver webjs etc whenever spring boot finds spring mvc dependency in a class path okay so spring boot what it does it will configure all these things for us whenever spring boot finds spring mvc jar file in a class path similarly whenever spring boot finds hibernate dependency in a class path the spring boot will automatically configure these you know details for us similarly for cache mq and nosql so whenever spring boot finds nosql database related dependency in a class path it will automatically configure nosql database configuration all right guys spring boot solves a lot of lot of you know problem that spring developer basically you know face so the main goal of spring boot is that as a developer you should only focus on you know business logic of your application not on the uh, you know not on other stuff spring boot will you know provide a lot of features to automatically configure a lot of stuff okay so the main goal of spring boot is to quickly create production ready spring based applications without requiring developers to write the same configuration boilerplate configuration again and again okay so that is the beauty of spring boot you know we don't have to write the same boilerplate configuration again and again okay spring boot will automatically configure all the configurations for us whenever it finds a dependencies in a class path okay spring boot is getting more popularity especially for developing restful web services and microservices